Hi everyone, my name is Kurt and I am a technology librarian at the Charleston County Public Library and today we are going to talk about creating an elevator speech. So what is an elevator speech? Well, it represents the amount of time you'd have if you were in an elevator with someone riding from the bottom of the building to the top and this takes around 30 seconds. So it's a 30 second summary of who you are and why you would be a great candidate. You want them to buy what you are selling. So let's say you were in an elevator with someone. What would you say to that person to grab their attention? So I'm going to guide you through creating the perfect elevator speech. And the perfect elevator speech starts with an introduction. So you wanna start off with a nice introduction such as, hello, my name is, your first name, your last name. It's so nice to meet you. Next, you wanna give a little bit of background are you a student? Are you a recent graduate? Are you looking for a new opportunity? This is where you let the employer know more about yourself. If you're a student, state your major and where you go to school. If you're a recent graduate, state your major and the school that you graduated from. So for example, I am a junior at the College of Charleston studying math. Next, what are you looking for? Are you looking for an internship? Are you looking for a job? Are you looking for an apprenticeship? You want to be very clear about what you are looking for. If you are looking for an internship, make that clear. If you are looking for a job, make that clear. Next, what do you know about the company? Have you done your research? You wanna be able to link what you researched about the company to what you are looking for. So for example, if you're looking for an internship, research their internship program, go to their website and look up their internship program. If it's a company that focuses on, focuses on outreach, research their outreaches, try to find what companies they partnered with. And the great thing about this part is that you can, you can really customize this part to match your speech. Next, business card and a resume. If you have a business card, make sure it looks professional because you're going to be passing this out to many representatives of, co of companies. And this goes for resumes as well. Your resume needs to look professional. You want employers to see that you took the time to craft your business card and your resume with care and make sure to ask for a business card as well. All right, so now we're at the closure. Make sure you follow up. Let employers know that you are interested in talking further by phone or email. Go ahead and send a thank you email. Thank them for your time. All right, so now we're going to go through this example of an elevator speech. Hello, my name is Jim Doe. I am a junior journalism major at the University of South Carolina. I work on a college newspaper as a reporter. I have interviewed several professors, the president of the University of South Carolina, and even local politicians. I'm looking for an internship that will challenge me and put my skills to work. I read that your company has a great internship program for aspiring journalists. Several journalists and reporters that work at the local stations were in your program. I have heard nothing but positive feedback about your program from students and professors. Can you tell me more about your internship program? I would love to talk more about this. I would like to offer you my business card and resume. May I have yours as well? I look forward to talking to you more about the internship. Thank you so much. All right. So now we're going to end with a couple of tips. So you want to sound natural. You want to be enthusiastic and not rehearsed and be friendly. So you don't want to talk in a robotic way. Don't forget to smile. Next. So don't rush. Your speech should not feel like a chore not be done quickly just to have it done. You're going to give employers the wrong impression and you want the employer to understand what you are saying. And eye contact, this is very important. You need to stay engaged with the person standing across from you. If you look down and you look away, that's going to show that you're uninterested and that is not good. Also, stay professional. You want to avoid using jokes. You want to avoid slang. You don't want to talk 
the same way you talk to your friends, right? You need to stay professional at all times. All right, so that is the end of this slide. So thank you so much. And I hope you all create perfect elevator speeches. If you would like more information, assistance in finding more resources, tips on how to get the job hunting process started, or more, please reach out to us at CCPL by email, chat, or text. By email, you can go to ccpl.org slash contact us, and this will take you to a form where you can put in your name, your email address, and your question. You may text a question by texting your question to 843 418-4114. You may also call us at 843-805-6930, leave a voice message, and a library staff member will return your call. Remember, you are not alone.